Hey guys, I'm the NFL Addict and welcome back to the NFL Beans, which is my semi-daily show where I spill the beans on what's been going on around the NFL. So, um, not too, like, not, not that much crazy stuff has happened recently, but, uh, we do still have enough that I feel like it's, uh, time for me to make another episode. So, the first thing, um, obviously I want to get started with the thing that's on the thumbnail. Um, the, the thing that's in the title is that the Panthers have released Kawan Short. He's a pretty good defensive tackle. He's been playing for them for eight straight years, and they released him. Um, and this actually makes sense for a couple of reasons. And the first one is that they are going to be saving, uh, it's the, just the lesser reason, but they're going to be saving $8 million in cap space, which is a pretty good amount, um, especially when you've got a player who's been in the league for a while and probably doesn't have that much left in him. You could probably get a player, um, like a much younger player for $8 million, um, uh, I don't know. I just feel like seven, eight million dollars is enough. And also, you look at this team, and they have a very, very young defense. He was one of the older players on there. They obviously start. They, they want to have a young team. They want to have a young team that can that can contend. I mean, you look all around them. They do have a fairly young squad. I mean, Christian McCaffrey, even Teddy Bridgewater, I guess, um, is fairly young. They want to have a young team. And Kwan Short on there. Uh, I guess the way they saw it is he's an old guy. They didn't have much, too many years left in him, so why not just cut him, get the eight million dollars, um, and then do something in the draft uh and i guess it makes sense um so uh, i mean uh, i mean it's gonna be kind of sad for them to see him go because he is a pretty good player but in the end i do think it was a good decision by them and yeah the next thing next kind of big thing is that alan robinson and the biz kind of come out i don't know how but i've been seeing a couple of articles in this is that uh so alan robinson and the bears obviously uh, there's a lot of other teams that are a lot of fans of other teams that really want to get alan robinson he's a really good player and i don't think he would cost a whole whole lot um it wouldn't have to be a big haul um it'd just be you know you know maybe I don't know, um, but right now uh, it has been revealed that Allen Robinson and the Bears have not been in contract negotiations since September. So it has it, though basically the whole season and then up until now they have not been uh, even talking about the contract. So it seems more and more likely every day that we're going to see Allen Robinson in another squad um, next year. And obviously it's pretty obvious if you look at my shirt who I want him to be on. Um, so this is good news for me. But still, uh, anything could happen. I mean, obviously we. Just do still have you know time for them to make some type of um last second move but yeah some more things uh adrian peterson uh currently the running back for the rams has said that he plans on playing four or five more years he's 35 right now and he says he wants to play until he's 40 so that's four or five more years at least um is until he will be happy with retiring he also says he wants to end his career as a number one rusher in the league history my personal opinion, I don't think that will happen. Looking at how his production has been in the past couple of years, I think he's still like a 1,000 yards off. It's definitely possible, but at the, if just looking at his career and how he's gone until now, I doubt it will happen, though. I definitely think he could move up until the third or second slot. Um, the Dolphins have signed their kicker, Jason Sanders, to a five-year extension, and uh, the char former Chargers and Buccaneers our receiver, Vincent Jackson, uh, has died uh, at the age of 38. So rest in peace to him. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. This has been the NFL Beans episode number 28. I hope to see you back for NFL Beans number 29. See you then.